Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 2045, where we have 15 moves only to reach 3,800,000 points. And the key to this is going to be making color bombs and bringing down the uh, ticking time bombs, because we get the most points for color bombs that are uh, detonated with the color of the most prevalent ticking time bomb on the board. I'm actually going to take out this ticking time bomb because I see an opportunity to make another color bomb. Probably, with everything the way it kind of falls into place so quickly, sometimes it's hard to tell what's going to happen. So I've got one, two, three, four blue on the board. That's the most prevalent color of ticking time bomb I have. I'm going to go ahead and do this. That gives me a points boost and it gave me more color bombs. So now I look and I've got uh, one, two, three, four blue. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight orange. Uh, I don't have enough purple. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's look at green. One, two, three, four, five, six green. So orange is the most prevalent color. So I'm going to take out orange. Now when I do this, it's probably going to collapse this and maybe take this out. But this will still take out a color and it'll match it with the most prevalent color. Maybe not the most prevalent ticking time bomb color, but the most prevalent color. So I do this and watch the points boost. The more I have to match that, the um, bigger points boost I get. So here, how many purple do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight purple. And I can reach green this way. So how many green do I have? One, two, three, four, five green. And then I will count blue, but I'll have to take one away because I'll have to match it with the blue itself. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven blue. Um, so I think I'm going to do purple and hopefully we'll get more color bombs. Oh, and that's going to take out a color, but still it took out blue. Notice that it took, it's taking things out and now we're getting this uh, big points boost without having to even think about what colors to remove. It's taking out the colors for us. We're at a little bit of a standstill here now. We don't have any more ticking time bombs on the board, which is unfortunate. I'm going to try to gather as many as I can while making an opportunity for another um, color bomb here. Oh, I thought I was going to get that purple. There goes that color bomb. It's gone. Hopefully it took something good with it. I wasn't paying attention. I was looking over here. Now we've got the ticking time bombs. We have to find the color bombs to help us. Notice the ticking time bombs have not been detrimental to us this entire board. We've never been in danger of getting, that I can see, of getting um, uh, blown up because everything runs so quickly. Now I see an opportunity to make a color bomb. At the same time I'm going to be taking out that color. But again I do have some ticking time bombs on the board and so that will be helpful. I'll still get a points boost. Even if I don't get to determine what gets taken out we're still making points. Now I can match with green or blue. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven green. I have one, two, three, not counting that one, four, five, six, seven blue. I'll go ahead and take out the green. I don't count this one because when I match it I don't get the points for it. Actually, do you know what? I am going to take out blue because I can just see that there's more blue on the board. Besides the fact that we get points for the ticking time bombs, we do get some points, not as substantial, but we get some points for every other color that's not a ticking time bomb that matches with it. So let's go ahead and take out the blue. I think that might be enough to get me that one star. Oh, very close. Okay, so now I'm going to be looking for more color bombs. I don't see any more color bombs, so I'm going to make a drastic move to help encourage more fun things to happen. And remember, it's not just, I think I'm going to get a star out of this already because it's not just the color bombs that give us points too. All of the moves that we make, all of the specials we create can help us out. But that worked out quite well. So now I have another color bomb I can make. 
I don't have a lot of ticking time bombs on the board, but I have some. Let's see how many purple I have. One, two. Let's see how many blue. One, two, three. Uh, let's see how many orange. One, two. That's all I can reach here. I'm going to go ahead and take out all blue again. And then at this point in time, it really doesn't matter because I've already won. Looks like there's enough green on the board to make that worthwhile. This was kind of a fun one. I love this, um, this uh, idea of matching the color bombs with the color of the most prevalent ticking time bomb, that the t ticking time bombs can actually be a bonus to us and not just kill us off. So that was my fun playing this board. I can make any move I want now. I've got my three. I don't care. Uh, if you still don't understand the concept, go back and watch it and see how many points I got. I got a little bit of a points boost when I matched the color bomb with the color of a few ticking time bombs, and then compare it to how many points I got when I matched a color bomb with a color of even more ticking time bombs. And you'll see that it grows exponentially. If I match this with orange and I've got three orange ticking time bombs, I'll get some points. If I match it with an orange and I've got 17 orange ticking time bombs, my meter's going to shoot up, you know, past the stars. It's going to give me a huge bonus. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe, and as always, thanks so much for watching. Oh, and uh, since I'm here just kind of waiting for this to finish, this was my first playthrough as is evidenced by the fact that I'm collecting sugar drops. <laughs>